All right, you guys, today we check out how to make the Apple button liquid glass here in Blender. The last time I did this tutorial and a lot of people have been complaining, like this is not how you do the button, the topology is horrible, and the glass also doesn't have that dispersion effect. So anyways, they are right, these critics are valid. So let's take a look how to make this in version number two. Step one, press Shift plus A, and we're gonna go to the mesh and select the cylinder. And let's go to add cylinder, and I'm gonna increase it to 82 enter let's go to top right corner and press the z rotation so it's going to view it from the top press tab to go to edit mode or you can go here and select edit mode all right so we're in edit mode and what i'm going to do is select the x-ray here activate and i'm going to select half of the circle so if you rotate you can see it's going to select half of it perfectly so i'm going to go activate the z again and i'm going to go and drag it down and make a pill shape out of it so it's gonna look something like this. Let's go back to object mode. And now let's go to the modifier, add modifier, type in bevel, enter. And we're gonna apply some bevel. I'm gonna go with the amount 0.16. And let's go to the segment, increase the segment to make it rounded, something like this. Now I'm gonna go and press the minus X or the X, it doesn't matter. Let's go back to edit mode. And this time I'm gonna go and select the top part here. Make sure that the X-ray is active. And I'm gonna bring this down, something like this. I'm gonna deactivate the X-ray. And now as you can see, we got the topology in the correct way. If it's not, let me know. I also gonna need to reset the X, Y, Z, right click on the shape, go to set origin, select geometry to origin, and I'm gonna go here. And I'm also gonna rotate this 90 degree angles, type in 90, press Shift plus A, go to Mesh, select the plane. I'm gonna go 90 as well, bring it back. And I'm gonna go to the scale, and here I'm gonna go with 1.080 by 1.920. So it's gonna be like a 1080p size. I'm gonna press the letter S for scale and scale it up a little bit more. Now I'm gonna activate the second shading, and I'm gonna go here and change this timeline to shader editor, click on new. And here I'm gonna select this node and press control T. In order to make the shortcut work, you're gonna have the node wrangler activated. If you don't have it, you can go here to the edit, preferences, go to the add-ons and search for node wrangler, which is right here, check it and activate it. And now you can apply the shortcut. Here I'm gonna go to the image texture open, and I'm gonna select the background for the plane, click on open. I'm also gonna need to rotate it. And here at the mapping, you can rotate the texture. So first I'm gonna start with the Z, I'm gonna go with 90. Actually, I'm gonna go with minus 90. And then I'm gonna go to the X, I'm gonna go with 180. All right, so now we got the plane going on and now we're gonna set up the lights. I'm also gonna set up the camera, press Shift plus A, select the camera, and I'm gonna bring it here rotation x90 y0 and z minus 90 let's activate the camera view and i'm gonna go to the location x and just increase to zoom out so now we can see the poster i'm gonna split the screen in half so i'm gonna have another viewport here here i'm gonna activate the renderer go to render settings change the ev to cycles cpu to gpu max sampling 50 and render, I'm gonna go with like 200. All right, so I'm gonna go here, press Shift plus A. Let's go to light, select the area light. And I'm gonna bring this out. I'm also gonna press the letter S to scale it up. And let's go ahead and resize it a little bit. I'm also gonna connect the softbox to the pill. So let's go here, add object constraint, select track two, click on the pick whip, and click on the pill. So it's gonna track the pill. I gotta position it something like this. Actually, I'm gonna resize the light like that. And let's go to the light settings and increase the power. So now we've got some light going on. Let's select the pill. And let's go to the shader editor, click on the new. And I'm gonna delete the principled, press Shift plus A, search for mix shader. I'm also gonna search for glass. And for a light path, I'm gonna put it here. All right, so in order to make a glass, I'm gonna connect the glass to the first shader here, and it's gonna to start to make it transparent. And if you want to make this more lighter, you can go with the light path. And for example, I can connect the shadow ray to the factor, 
So this way is going to make it like pretty much realistic. So now as you can see the dispersion is missing so we're going to work on that and I got to go here to the glass and connect the node to the second shader here and I'm going to press shift plus a search for add shader. I'm going to place it here press shift d to duplicate press shift plus a search for refraction place it here press shift plus d to duplicate and duplicate it again. Now the first one, the color is going to be red. So I got to go to the RGB, decrease the green and the blue. Let's go to the second one. This is going to be green, decrease the red and the blue. Third one is going to be blue, decrease the green and the red. There you go. So let's go and connect these guys. I'm going to connect the first refraction to the add shader, second refraction to the shader to the second one, shader to shader, and the blue to the second shader and the shader gonna go here to the mix shader. So now as you can see, we don't have a lot of stuff going on and I'm gonna go here to the red IOR, I'm gonna decrease it to 1.4 and then the green is gonna be a 1.45 and the blue is gonna be a 1.5. So now we got some refraction going on and I also gonna go to the roughness. I'm gonna add 0 0.07 and I'm gonna copy paste it to the rest as well. Now, if you want to increase the refraction, you can go to the IOR, maybe decrease it. So now you can see it is going to emphasize it even more. You also can switch up the light path and you're going to have like different reflections. But I'm going to go with the third one at the bottom and I'm going to go back to the light and adjust it a little bit more. And here I'm going to go with the power on a thousand. I'm going to move it back a little bit more. So check this out, if you move it up, it's going to bring the shadows more down, which is cool. So it's going to make it float even better. You also can scale it down, make the shadows more intense. I'm actually going to add another light, another area light, and I'm going to bring it here. I'm going to connect this also the same way, track 2, select the pick whip, connect it to the pill, and I'm going to make this wide actually, and really narrow. I'm also going to put this on a thousand, the power. And let me arrange it, bring it here. And I'm gonna bring it up and decrease the power. And you can play around as much as you like. Oh yeah, and I also forgot if you wanna make this if this version smooth, I'm gonna select the spill, right click, select shade smooth. But I also gonna increase the roughness a little bit more, 1.7 and there it is. I also gotta decrease the IOR I'm going to go back to 1.4, blue 1, 1, 1.5. I also want to increase the contrast. You can go here to the render, scroll down, go to color management, scroll down. And here you can select the chronos and increase the contrast. Go to render, render image. That's how you make this Apple glass effect here in Blender. Thanks for watching.